everyone, this is Chris with Elevation Construction. I wanted to make a quick video just to tell you a little bit about your roof's ventilation system. Did you know you needed a ventilation system for your roof? When you look at your ridge line underneath your, uh, in the soffit area, up on top of your house, you're gonna see little holes, little circular holes with screens behind it. Um, hopefully you got the screens. We'll talk about that here in a second. Or you might see like this uh, rectangular sh shaped uh, screen and there's a purpose behind it. That's part of the ventilation system. Um, so let's talk uh, why we need it, right? So as you know, in your attic area up here, it is not an airtight space. Air is going to get up in there um, and you, you know, there's no way you can avoid it, of course. So what happens when air gets up in here? You get moisture in the air and, the, and if it just kind of traps up in there, it's got nowhere to go. Right? If you don't have a ventilation system, the air has nowhere to go. And what happens to the moisture? It hangs out in here, and after a while, there's going to be mold growing on the subroof, the sheathing there, and it's going to cause issues in the, in the future. So, for example, if you got um, soggy, moldy uh, sheathing underneath your tiles, it's going to warp, it's going to get a little bit kind of uh, out of shape, and then it's going to create an opportunity for leaks to get in between those shingles. So in order to avoid this, what you need to do is have these vents down here. Either these little circles uh, up by the, um, the top here, or you might have, like I said, that rectangular shaped vent on the bottom. And then as air comes in through the sides here, it needs to go out somewhere, right? So you'll see sometimes on the ridge line, they have these uh, shingles on top that's kind of like elevated on top of the ridge and those are actually vents right so as air comes in the moisture comes up here the hot air and then it escapes out the vent sometimes you might see these little square things on the side and those are doing the same thing that the ridge line vents do as well air will come out and then what that does is it allows the air to escape allows the moisture to escape so you don't have moisture just hanging out in there so that's what what you need and that's going to prolong the life of your roof if you have a flat roof it's a little different but not really you still have air you know you're not going to have this very large attic space as you do in a gable roof but you're going to have a small little space in between the ceiling and the roof of that top floor and so what you need is these vents, either the circles or you might have the squares or rectangles. Make sure you have screens on them. And then that way the air will flow through. So let's just say this side is the lower side. You know, it'll go out here and escape, right? So the air is not trapped in there. It's not going to accumulate. It's not going to create a mold issue. And it's not going to soften your sheathing on the bottom either. So let's talk a little bit about these vents. These vents, as I mentioned, you're going to want to have screens on them. And here's why. We've had, especially, we had a, um, a property with a flat roof. And it was a large property, so there's several of these vents all the way around. Uh, we thought we caught all of them. We thought we had screens on all of them. But birds will find a way. They will find a way. Sometimes they create a way, right? So you'll see, if you have a problem with birds, one, you'll see birds flying out. You'll uh, have tenants or people living in there saying, hey, I hear birds in the attic or whatever it might be. Or you might be doing a walk around on your property. And you're going to see bird droppings <laughs> on the side of your property and you don't want that to happen. Um, so and you need to prevent that. If there's live birds in there, the exterminator is not going to go in and do anything about it because they're live birds. What you need to do is be proactive and prevent it. And you do that by putting screens up on your vents. So that's a little maintenance tip for your uh, roof um, ventilation system. So some of the older roofs that we've come across, especially like in the Tacoma area, uh, maybe even here in the Houston area too, they didn't make the ventilation system with the roofs, you know. Um, but as we redo the roofs, we're adding the ventilation system, which is going to prolong the life. It's going to protect the um, subroof underneath the shingles um, or even the subroof underneath the t TPO uh, on the flat roofs as well. So make sure you have a ventilation system, and when you do have a ventilation system, make sure you have screens on them to keep the birds and the rodents out of your attic space. All right, that's uh, a little bit about your roof ventilation system. Check us out at our website, elevationconstructionteam.com, and we have more tips, 
more information about all kinds of projects when it comes to your property. So thanks for watching.